So you saw a wall that had uh, graffiti on it? Yeah, I saw, um, so um, I saw a wall that, that needed to have its graffiti removed. Um, Don, Don, Don. Hey man, I got, um, I got some graffiti on the wall over here in my, in my area. Uh, it's actually right across the street from the water store. Um, okay. address is on the, it's on the corner of Long Beach Boulevard and uh, I don't even know this little street right here. Is it the Gray Wall? It's the Gray Wall, yep. Yeah, it got Elm Street on it. Okay, I'll be on it in a minute. All right, appreciate you, Big Dog. All right. The thing about, you know, getting graffiti up, um, not everybody understands how important something like that is. Aside from the fact that it, it doesn't look good and it's ugly uh, to the community, um, it's a message. And most times it's messages, messages of hate. And that only derives more hate. And then you get this back and forth thing that goes on. And in some, in some cases, beef and things are escalated just because of what's on the wall in a certain territory. Um, so it's, it's, it's a level of public safety, honestly, removing the, the, the graffiti. I'm more inclined to, to remove the, like, the stuff that I see is disrespect. I'm like, going to get on that immediately. People marking their ter territory, um, you know, I'm going to report it, and it eventually gets taken down. But um, I, I am a little more uh, fast to respond uh, to, the, to the messages of hate. All right, so what we have here is just a lot of graffiti on the wall. But what I've told you guys before is just like sometimes it's more about just kind of clearing the hate off the wall and sometimes these messages are messages of hate you know it's uh, somebody K or anybody K or crossing out different territories and what that does it just sends a message of hate and violence to whoever you're disrespecting and then it comes they have to get back and then you do the back and forth for a while until someone actually gets physical and then things escalate but it all starts with uh, you know, not, all, not all of it, but a lot of it kind of starts from stuff like this. So that's why it's important to get, get it off the wall as, as fast as you can. So what are these? Uh, so I mean, you have. Uh, I, I, I read this stuff. I was born born and raised around this, these these types of things. So I, I read this. This is language I actually read. So it's not just letters on the wall for me, um, and it's not for for the community. Uh, so we got like 18 killer, yeah, 18 K. It's not you know, and I don't, I don't. I'm not saying these things to be disrespectful to these games. I'm just pointing these things out to show that this is the reason why we have to get this stuff whacked out or, you know, clinked up. You know, you got SBC crossed out and, 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 and the HKs and these different things. And it's just like, again, messages of hate. And, what is STV1? Um, STV113 is a uh, Latino game um, in the area. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where they're at um, per se, but I just, I, I just, I know what that means, I, you know. And the SB? Santana Block Crips, they are uh, also in my district. Um, they're, they're not too far. Actually, yeah, they're right across the street over here. Then you got the uh, Compton Vadio 70s. What are they? Compton Vadio, so the CV70s. Uh, again, this is another, another, another gang here in Compton. Another Latino gang here in Compton. So you'll see a lot of these tags on the wall and we just gotta clean them up. It's just our job to get it clean, that's all.